Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel today. I am so excited today to be doing a collaboration with Jana Cookie. If you guys have never seen Jana Cookie's channel, I am gonna link it below. She is a wonderful YouTuber who I was lucky enough to meet by having a YouTube channel. And she is just the sweetest, loveliest person. She often has her little baby in the background when she's filming her videos because she has four kids, super mom. And she just does wonderful reviews. She's very honest about everything that she looks at and discusses with us, and I so appreciate that. She does amazing swatches. She really takes time to do the like best quality videos. You always have like excellent swatches of everything that she's swatching. She'll like take like insert little um, swatches into her videos. She takes a lot of time to really bring us videos that are useful and helpful and informative and I really appreciate that and she's so lovely and I'm really excited to be doing this um, video in collaboration with her today. So be sure to check out her channel. It is linked below. So what we decided to do today for this video is 10 things that we never, 10 high end products that we never reach for. And we got this idea from Jessica Braun actually. So a few weeks ago, I was watching Jessica Braun's video and she was talking about 10 high end products that she never reaches for. And some of them were things that were good products that she never reaches for just because we are always buying new makeup and we are always, you know, testing out new things and we forget about all the expensive good makeup that we have in our makeup collection. And I was kind of inspired by that. So Jana and I decided to do this video today talking about 10 high-end products that we never reach for. Some of them may be, for her, some of them may be things that she maybe doesn't reach for because she doesn't like. I decided to do 10 high-end products that I never reach for that I actually want to use more that I've kind of forgotten about or, you know, haven't had time to use because I'm always buying new things and trying out new products. And so let's get into my top 10 high-end products that I never reach for. The first thing is the Too Faced Natural Palette. I bought this probably back in March, I think. I've had this for months and months and months and months. It's January. I've never used it, guys. Never opened it. This is like a 50 something dollar palette and I have never used it. It's brand new. And so it's like a new year's resolution to use some of my expensive makeup products that I've spent a lot of money on, but I never have a chance to use them because I'm always buying new things and trying new things. And so it's such a beautiful palette. The range of colors is so good. Everybody really raved about this palette when it came out last spring and now it's nearly been a year since it came out and I have never used it, I've never reached for it. And so it's time. It is time to use this palette and see what it's all about. So that's my first thing. The second thing is my It Cosmetics um, Celebration Foundation. So when I bought this probably a year ago, um, I tried it and I just found it to be too moisturizing. As you guys know, I have oily skin. And um, when I would use this, I just felt like my face was kind of like an oil slick. And so I really have not reached for it probably in a year. And so I was looking through my makeup collection to decide what I was going to talk about in this video. And I thought to myself, you know, my skin has been so dry this winter for like the first time in my life. I have a little bit of dry skin that this may actually be a foundation that I enjoy using. So I was thinking that I would try this in the next few weeks and see how it does kind of in my wintry dry skin and see if I prefer it maybe as a winter foundation versus a summer foundation when I'm already hot and boiling and sweaty and oily. So this is a foundation that gets like a powder foundation that gets a lot of really good reviews that I didn't like because of my oily skin, but I'm going to see how it does this winter. I'm going to try it in the next couple of weeks. Okay, the next high-end product that I basically never reach for are my Laura Geller blushes. A few years ago, I was using the shade, what was it called? I think it was the Baked and it was the Baked Bronze and Brighten, which is a bronzer, but I was using it as a blush and I loved it. I thought it was so amazing. I always got so many compliments when I was wearing it on my cheeks. And so I went ahead and bought a few more Laura Geller blushes to test out, see how they were doing. And I have like never reached for them. I've never used them. They're sitting in my makeup collection. And one of them is this gorgeous color called Blush and Brighten and Berry. Look at this, you guys. How beautiful is that? I'm going to swatch it for you. Why don't I ever use this? I don't even know. Like, it's a very kind of sheer, 
kind of pinky color. Look at how pretty that is. And I think that would look so beautiful. So I need to like use it and test it and see how it looks on my skin and see how it does with fine lines and pores and wrinkles and things like that because I've never used it. So I wanna reach for my Laura Geller blush. This is one of actually several that I have that I have not used that I need to try and see how I like them. Okay, next. A few years ago, I bought Cindy Luminizer. I love Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It is like one of the best highlights. I use it everywhere. I don't use it on my face because it is very stroby, but so I don't use it everywhere. I use it mainly on my eyes and I think it's like the best inner corner highlight ever. It's so, so, so good. And so at that time I bought Cindy Luminizer, which is more of like a pinky shimmery color. Let me swatch it for you guys. It's like kind of like a peachy pinky. Can you see that? Can you guys pick that up? It's right here. A peachy pinky highlighty color. And I have never reached for it and I think it would be a beautiful highlight just to see how it compares to the Mary Luminizer. Like, is it the same? Is it super duper stroby? Try it on my lids, try it on my inner corner. See how it does. And I've literally never used it. Cindy Luminizer, kind of a pinky. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the um, tone of Champagne Pop. I don't, I don't own Champagne Pop, but it is kind of like a peachy goldy highlight and I need to try it out. So that is definitely on my list of stuff to use. Just a really, really pretty, I mean in the pan, it looks pretty, <laughs> pretty highlighter. Okay, next. I, two years ago when like Hourglass was like all the rage, I picked up two Hourglass palettes. I picked up this blush palette and then I picked up the Trio um, with the, it was like the Trio, um, finishing powder, which I don't have on my desk right now. But anyway, um, I picked up these blushes and I, I've maybe used them once. And this was like an $80 palette. I mean, you guys, isn't that shameful? I have all this makeup. I spent this kind of money on a palette and I've like never reached for it. I think I've used it twice. So I really need to test these out. I mean, everybody like raves about the Hourglass blushes. They say they're so great. This one that is in Mood Exposure, I think that's this one, looks really interesting to me. I like that kind of plummy color. I think it looks really, really pretty in the pan. So I wanna see how those perform. It's like very kind of plummy and neutral. It looks super pretty. So I need, I mean, I need to wear these guys. Do you, do you have this blush palette? Do you like it? Is it too shimmery? How do you guys like this palette? Tell me what you think of it. I've had it for two years and I've never used it. It's just crazy. Let me take a sip of my coffee. Okay. Do I have lipstick on my teeth now? Let's see. No, I'm good. Okay. Next. Oops. I just almost knocked my powder off. Okay, so the next thing is this Too Faced Candle Lit Powder. So I am trying to work through some of my powders because I have so many powders. I just, it's just ridiculous to have them sitting there. And I was looking through my collection and this, this is one that looks so pretty. Look, can you guys pick up how it's kind of like got a very vague shimmer in the pan? It looks super duper pretty. And I know I've used it in the past, just obviously not a lot because I can't remember how it performs. It's just a translucent powder. It's the Too Faced Candle Lit. And um, I just want to use it as a setting powder and see how it works. I've had it in my collection probably for nine months or a year. And I just really have not had the chance to use it very much. It's got a tiny bit of like shimmer in it, but I don't pick that up very much at all on my hand. It reminds me very much, I mean, it's kind of got a little bit of luminosity to it on my hand. I don't think you guys are gonna pick this up if I show you the swatch. It's got a tiny bit of luminosity on it, but no shimmer and no glitter at all. It just, it reminds me kind of of the um, Hourglass finishing powders, but I wanna see how it performs on my face. So that is one thing that I'm gonna try to kind of start using a little bit more. Next is my um, NARS lipsticks, my NARS, um, what are these called? Audacious lipsticks. These were all the rage like a year and a half ago and I bought a couple of them at that time and they're sitting on my Alex drawers in my closet and I, I never reach for them. Why? Why don't I? So today I picked them up and I put on Raquel, which is what I'm wearing on my lip. It's the first time I've worn it since I bought these like a year and a half ago. And it is so beautiful. The, the, the pigment of these is gorgeous. Look at this color, you guys. Like how gorgeous is this? 
it's so comfortable and this color is so beautiful. Like, I don't know why it's been sitting there on my shelf and I've not been reaching for it. It was such an expensive lipstick. I think these are like 30 bucks, like insane. So I gotta use this up, it's a beautiful color. I also have two other colors of this NARS Audacious lipstick. I think Raquel is like the most talked about color in this line because it's just like a neutral peachy pink. You can wear it every day, but it's very opaque and it's very comfortable. So if you've never tried these, you should look at Raquel. It's like a beautiful lipstick. I'm gonna totally start wearing it. The other one I have is Apolline. This is more of a, um, kind of rosy pink. Do you like this guys? I'm like running out of room on my hands right there. And then the last one that I have is Brigitte, which is more of a peachy, kind of a darker um, peachy pink, but very beautiful. I mean, these lipsticks are so nice and they have magnetic closure so that if you put them in your purse, they don't, they don't separate in your purse and make a mess. They're just beautiful lipsticks. Um, so I've done, how many things have I done, you guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight. Um, several years ago, I before matte lipsticks were, were totally in, I bought two shades of the matte, of the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. And then they came out recently it, with the Matte Velvet Lip Glide Lip Glosses. And I love those, I think they're so comfortable. But I forgot that I had these lip pencils, which are like matte lip pencils until I was going through my collection. You guys, these are wonderful. I forgot how amazing they are. I love them. I have two shades. One of them is Sex Machine, and it is just a really pretty pink color. They are so comfortable. They're matte, but they're very thin and like, they're not chunky. They don't settle into the fine lines of your lips. They are like, I don't know where, the, I don't know how I forgot about these. They're so, so good. So they have a matte finish, but they're very light and velvety and they're even better, I think, than the lip glosses, which I, the velvet, the NARS velvet lip glosses that just came out more recently. They're even better. I think the color range is better actually for these pencils. Let me show it to you. They're just like the crayon pencils. Um, the color range is better. Um, they last a really long time on your lips. They are velvety, they are matte, they don't settle into fine lines, they don't bleed outside of your lips. These are underrated on YouTube, you guys. Like nobody talks about these because they're kind of an old product and because the new, you know, velvet matte lip glides came in a year ago by NARS, so people are still talking about that. But these are like hidden gems, like so, so, so good. So this is Sex Machine right here. It's such a nice color. And I'm gonna run to my bathroom because I forgot the other color, so I'll be right back because there's another color that is like one of the best colors of life that I totally forgot about, that I never reach for, that you all need to hear about. So I'll be right back. I'm back. So the color that I absolutely love in these NARS matte, velvet matte lip pencils is Dolce Vita. It is the perfect red for a person that doesn't like to wear super duper bold, bold reds. It's beautiful, it's perfect. It's like one of the best lip colors of life. And I forgot all about it. I have not used it in ages. And I pulled it out again yesterday and I was like, I love this. I don't know if you can pick it up, but it's kind of like a really natural red. See, you can kind of see on the, on the um, pencil that it, it like looks red. It is matte and it's got just a reddish undertone, but anybody can wear this. It's like, I don't really wear red lipstick. I just feel like it's so bold for me. Like I'll wear it every now and again if I do a super neutral eye and you know, I'm wearing not much other makeup on my face, I'll do a red lip, but like that's rare. But this, you can wear this every day, all the time, and it gives a very red vibe, but in a very natural way. So Dolce Vita NARS Matte Velvet matte lip pencils. Why can't I remember that name? I don't know. I have to like look at the pencil every time I'm telling you. So you guys, if there's one thing you take from this video, these pencils are the most underrated thing talked about on YouTube. They're old, they're not new, but they're some of the best products. They're expensive, they're worth the cost. If you want something that's matte and super comfortable with a great color range, try these, try these, try these. I'm so happy that I'm doing this video because it forced me to go back through my makeup collection and remember that I have these and that I need to use them. They're so good. They are so, so good. I guess you guys have got the picture now. Okay, next thing. 
a year or two ago, probably two years ago now even, I bought this Laura Mercier primer in Radiance. And after I bought it, I was like, seriously, Fisher, why did you buy that? You have like oily skin. You don't need something that's got like Radiance in it. And so it's been sitting in my cabinet doing nothing for quite some time. So I decided when I was going through my collection that because I've been going through a dry spell on my skin, this is a perfect thing to wear in the winter to give my skin some life. And I am actually like gonna try to like use it up because I think it, Laura Mercier notoriously has such good primers and my skin has been dry and a little dull and there's no good reason not to use this right now. Like this is such a good product that I never, ever, ever, ever use. And like right now seems like the perfect time to just like dig into it. When my skin's dry, it's winter and I need a little bit more glow. So I, let me show it to you. I am going to start using this and try to get through it before I have to toss it. So let me just put some of it on my hand here. It's just, it's not like shimmery or it's just a little bit of a glowy primer. And you may not be able to pick it up, but it's like definitely less glowy than say um, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. It's not, it's definitely not glowy like that. Like once I rub it in, it's got the Vegas glow, but it's so pretty. Like, I don't know why I haven't been using this. It's such a waste. So I'm totally gonna use this. Um, and see how it looks on my skin. Okay, we're at number 10. So for setting sprays, I have been meaning to do a video for you guys on like a war makeup for any of you guys who are nurses or doctors and are in the operating room and are wearing masks because you all that work like that know that when we put on masks in the operating room, like our face comes off on the mask. So typically when I go to work, I don't wear makeup like this because it just looks ridiculous. Like I pull off my mask and like the whole mask is covered with makeup unless I use a setting spray. And the setting spray that I've always used is the Urban Decay All Nighter because it like sets your face. Oh, I have a hair like right there. Sorry if that's been like in my eye, like the entire video distracting you guys, I'm really sorry. Um, the Urban Decay All Nighter um, is mattifying. It holds your makeup in place the entire day. And I've used it in the operating room over a full face of makeup and like nothing comes off on the mask. It's perfect. The mask is totally clean. It sets your face. You don't look like you're wearing a mask. It's beautiful. But I have this bottle of Model in a Bottle, which I have never used, never. I've never tried it. And it's a makeup setting spray. It's supposed to have a matte finish. I believe it was something in the $20 range, like maybe 22. I've probably had it for a year and a half and I have never tried it. Like why, why haven't I tried this? So I am gonna try this and see how it compares to my, um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and see if it's as good. Um, I think the person that I heard this from was Nakia Joy and she said it's great and I think she's a makeup artist so she would know but I've never tried it so I don't know personally or how my skin deals with it or if it makes me break out or if I have like the no makeup on my mask once I use it. So this is definitely on my list of high-end makeup setting sprays to use in 2018. So that is like we are like scraping the bottom of the bucket of the things that are high end and expensive in my collection that I just don't give love to, that I don't use. And so one of my New Year's resolutions in 2018 is to really get into my collection, maybe tone it down on the buying a little bit and try to use some of these amazing products that I just have sitting in my Alex drawers that are so good or that I've just never tried. So I don't even know that they're good and really try to use them. We spend so much money on makeup. We might as well use all of it, right? So I hope that you guys like this video. Definitely check out Jana Cookie's um, channel, which is linked below. She's such a sweet lady. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will look forward to seeing you guys next time. Remember, if you are not subscribed and you are new to this channel, please click that subscribe button, hit the little bell next to it so that you will be notified each time I post a new video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.